Alhamdulillah Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah Wa ba'd Allah says in Surah An-Nahl Chapter 16 Verse 18 وَإِن تَعُدُّ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ He says, if you tried to enumerate, to count the blessings of Allah, you'd never be able to do it. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. So Allah mentions this also in another, in Surah Ibrahim, chapter 14, verse 34, this similar phrase. If you try to count all the blessings that Allah has given you, you can never do it. So if someone was given a homework assignment, you have a whole team of people. You say, you know what, get together and try to think of all the blessings that people have in their life. Just look at your own body. Right? Every single time you eat, you chew food, the saliva that you have starts breaking down the food within your mouth before it even gets into your body. You swallow it, it goes down, it breaks down. Imagine if you could not digest your food. Imagine if you didn't have a digestive system. Imagine if you didn't have saliva. Imagine if you didn't have a tongue. Imagine if you didn't have teeth. Imagine if you didn't have lips. Every single thing, until it's taken away from us, we don't realize what a huge blessing it is. And that's why every time we get sick, you know, recently I sprained my ankle. You know, and I realized, man, that ankle is so important. <laughs> it affects the rest of your body. You can't function properly. If you get the flu, you get sick. Constantly you have a headache, you have a fever. You realize that your, the regulation of your body temperature is such a huge blessing, you've never taken it into consideration. One scholar wrote, he said, just think about the earth, the way the earth is going around the sun. If the gravitational force was just a little bit different and the earth came closer to the sun, we'd all burn up we wouldn't be able to survive. If it just went a little bit further away from the sun, we'd all get cold and we, wouldn't, we would freeze and we wouldn't be able to survive. We are living in a world which has been set up with so many blessings, right? With our ozone layer and just every single thing that we have from our body to the entire world in which we live in. The more we reflect and we try to go and say, hey, try to think of all the blessings that you've been given, you will never be able to do it. And then what does Allah say at the end? Allah is ghafoorul rahim. Allah is forgiving and He's merciful. Why? Because if He expected full justice, right, then every single thing that He has given you, you should be thanking Him for it. Every single blessing that you have, you should be, you should be able to count it and thank Him for it. But you're never going to be able to do it. It's impossible. So Allah is saying, I'm going to let that slide. Right? I'm, I'm just, it's, it's okay. You can't even do it. I'm not going to even ask you to do that, so it's okay, I'm going to be merciful to you. And the mercy is in all the things that He's given you as well. So, so all of these things, this is something that we should always remember because it's so easy to fall into the state of neglect, state of heedlessness where we don't care about these things and we just start complaining and saying, oh, I don't have anything and why don't I have this, why don't I have that? The more you reflect upon what you have, you'll realize how amazing it is you'd never even be able to count it. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among the people who realize and appreciate the blessings that we've been given. Ameen.